So in uh, 2009, I was commissioned by Stephen Bolger Gallery to do part of the uh, show of Give Peace a Chance that uh, hung at Stevens. It was a, I believe it was a five-day bed-in at Bolger Gallery. They kept the, the gallery open 24 hours a day. They brought in uh, uh, radio celebrities. Uh, I think Q107 was down there doing music uh, at the place. It was quite a quite a nice uh, venture. I was um, allowed to print all the black and white side of the show, and then uh, Toronto Image Works uh, did the color side. And so my 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 fee for doing that was to get a couple of prints of John and Yoko in black and white, one for myself and one for my partner uh, Kevin Viner at Elevator when I was with Elevator, and so. I remember seeing the show and I fell in love with an image that image, Toronto Image Works had done, um, which was a color image of John and Yoko in bed together. And though I had this image, for ten, 10 years I remembered that image. And I finally got up the nerve to call Steve and I said, listen, you know, I'm absolutely want to make an image um, for, of, of this color image that you have in your in your gallery uh, under the Jerry Gator estate, uh, which is managed by Joan Athey. And uh, I said, what can I do to, you know, make, make some prints? And ultimately, I was allowed to talk to Joan, and Joan allowed me to make a series of prints of this particular image. And it was a color image, and this is the funny thing about photography is that, and especially for those of us that are, are uh, go back uh, in, in time, we, 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 we'll think of an image and it'll go into our mind's eye and we'll, we'll remember it as a certain thing. So I've always thought of this image. I thought it's probably one of the most beautiful images of a couple that I've ever, ever seen. I mean, I'm a huge John Lennon fan, I have to say, uh, but this, Embrace. It's called Entwined, actually. Uh, I found that to be very, very um, desirable for me to make this print. So anyways, luckily Joan, thank you Joan Athey in uh, Victoria, BC, uh, graciously allowed me to make a series of prints. And for that, I got this one print. But you'll notice I've done it now in gum bichromate. I did not do it in black and white uh, because it was an original. Uh, uh, the original color wasn't really incredible because, you know, I think when Jerry photographed this, there was a lot of stuff going on in a week and the, the images was very kind of washed out in the transparency. But anyways, I, I, I separated and I wanted to create a very, I don't know what the word is, a very, um, um, looking in a looking glass, looking at it from, a, from quite a distance and, and, and the softness, the, 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 the hazy color, the, just, just the feeling of, 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 of the, the love that seems to be in that image versus the harsh, cold black and white of the, you know, straight on black and white. I didn't want this, I wanted this and therefore um, I've made these two prints. Two are permanent prints. Uh, this one has been hand colored a little bit to create some pop in there, which I, you know, do just like spotting prints. But anyways, that's uh, that's it.